Hello there. Today we are talking about getting things done with Becky Sampson. Thank you for joining us. I'm so excited because you know how much I love to get things done. We even have a get her done yep. day once a month. Awesome. Yep. Love it. So <laughs> we are two peas in a pod and I'm so excited about uh, this collaboration and future collaborations with Becky. But Becky, can you introduce yourself to our audience of life coaches, health coaches, and energy healers, coaches kind of of all kinds, but uh, and just let them know what you're doing for coaches and their teams to help them get things done. So excited. Yeah. So I'll kind of give you the back back story yeah. a little bit. Um, so most of my life I've struggled with my weight and been like probably seven or eight years old, um, struggled and gone up and down the scale my entire life and low, low self-esteem, um, bad relationships, bad marriages, all that kind of stuff. Um, and back in February, 2009, I got into recovery for food addiction, actually. I don't know if you know that, that story, but I uh, ended up releasing 130 pounds and I was working at the time as a full-time, um, property manager. And then all of a sudden I started like feeling like I want to go out and help people mm -hmm. and, um, ended up quitting my job, hitting my goal weight and getting divorced all in the same month of July, 2010. Wow. And that's when I started networking. Um, mm -hmm. cause I was like, what am I going to do? What's my next step? And so I kind of got into the coaching world. Well, I did get into the coaching world, started connecting with thousands, hundreds and thousands of people, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> and over the years, the last 15 years, I've seen a major problem within the coaching industry. Um, doesn't matter what you coach on is this idea of getting things done. Cause we're, I call it entrepreneurial bipolar entrepreneurship. <laughs> like, like one day you're like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to do this. And then the next day you're like, no, I don't want to do it. What am I thinking? What am I, what am I going <laughs> to no, do this? Like, you for me? <laughs> like, yeah. And, and, and so, I don't and, want to the curse of, I don't want to, um, the things that just have to get done. Right. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is in, in, the people who tend to be entrepreneurs are the ones that are heart centered people because they have a desire to go and make a difference in the world. They are mm -hmm. really, really good at what they do. However, they have no idea what they need to do in order to market themselves. That's kind of like the main thing that they struggle with is marketing. Well, my background is in graphic design, mm -hmm. actually, and branding and all of that stuff, doing book covers and logos and brochures and all that fun stuff. So mm -hmm. I really got to see the inside of people's um, businesses. And what I saw is a common denominator is that they, they'll they spin their wheels, including myself, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, spin their wheels, doing things that are not productive in bringing profit. Mm -hmm. And so many, many years ago, I had a girlfriend of mine, I was kind of telling you this before the show started, but I had a girlfriend of mine reach out to me. She knew my story of losing 130 pounds, maintaining it for all these years. Um, so obviously I'm a very systems person, like, mm -hmm. um, or I've become that way. And she says, Becky, I know you lost weight and stuff, but can you help me do this, this clean-a-thon type of thing? You know, can you, mm -hmm. can you help me put together this accountability when it comes to helping people declutter and organize their home? Well, at the time, my mother was caring for her mother, my grandmother, and it was getting to the point where we had to put her, she was 97 years old, and we put her into a rest home. And I saw how like deflated my mom was. Now she lives in close to a 500,000 5, square foot home. And it wasn't that she's a hoarder by any means, but I just knew that there was so much stuff that we needed to go through. So I spent about, I think it was three and a half weeks after we put my grandma in a care center that every day, eight hours a day, I said, mom, we're going through every drawer, going through every, every, every um, closet, everything, clearing it out. Mm -hmm. And I came up with the four step process that I did with, to do that. So mm -hmm. we started doing these clean-a-thons. So eight hours of clean-a-thons. And then I started working for a friend of mine at his lighting company and he was struggling with productivity among his employees. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I know how powerful this accountability, these blitz are, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And, but I knew I couldn't go for eight hours cause it's a little too much for most entrepreneurs. So I put it down to three hours and started my beta groups mm -hmm. and started doing this thing, branded it, uh, biz blitz. And it, 
every single person that came through one of my blitz and I call it a game, right? It's a, it's a productivity, playful productivity. Mm -hmm. Um, because it's gotta be fun or else people don't do it. So that's, that's kind of what I'm focusing on now is helping and supporting coaches, supporting teams, supporting, um, and really I'll be honest with you. It is a little selfish because it's what (laughs) I need help with. Mm -hmm. And so I might as well bring a team of people with me. Right. Isn't that what what it's all about? Like, Mm -hmm. this is what I need. So I mastered it. Now I bring that to you. Right. Well, and Mm -hmm. I get to do it along with them. I don't just coach them. I I bring my own stuff to the blitz Mm -hmm. and I I bring the, I bring the hardest stuff that I'm avoiding because I know that that stuff is what's going to build my business. Like, why do I do that? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. And I just relaunched, I'm relaunching it this next week. And I'm really, really excited about the people that are already signed up for it. And, um, Mm -hmm. and yeah. Well, can you tell us what your four-step process is? In in decluttering and organizing your home? Actually, any space. Yeah, any space. Well, let's, like, I'm looking around me at what has happened to my office in the last couple of weeks. And I'm like, give me some tips. Yeah, I would love to. Absolutely. I would love to share that with you. So this is the one of the things that I learned. And I, this trickles into all areas of my life, right? So if I want, if there's chaos in my life, I've got to put it in order. So the number one thing, and some of this comes from, you know, the gal that, that teaches about this stuff. Um, She has the book. I can't remember what it's called. The tidy up or something. Um, But what I do is I clear the space. Mm -hmm. So number one, you've got to clear the space. So if you're in an office, that's really cluttered, clear the entire space. Like it's a brand new space. I don't care what you need to do. Like I've got binders and everything out here. So many people try to organize their space where it is oh, and you, that's... you don't make you said, wise choices. You said way. clear. And I thought energetically, do you mean well, like clear the energy, but you're talking about actually moving everything out of the space clear. and then yep. putting things away appropriately. Okay. So recently, let me just give you an example. Recently, I just um, moved back to the mainland from Hawaii. I was there for five years and I haven't quite got settled. And here in my office is a really messy um, closet. (laughs) So here's what I would do with that is I would take the closet, everything that's in the closet and take it into the hallway or some other space out of this room. Mm-hmm. And so, and then I'm going to come back to the closet and I'm going to make sure the closet is clean, whether that's vacuuming, whether that's cleaning the walls or moving the, you know, the shelving unit or whatever I need to do mm-hmm. to make it so that I want to be. So that's number one is clear it. Then you come back. Number two, clean it. Like it's a brand new space. If you need to repaint, if you need to touch up, if you need to do whatever, make it a brand new space. Like you're just moving into that space for the first time. Wow. Okay. Number two, number three, then you go out and sort your stuff. What do you need? What are you going to keep? And what are you going to release? I never say, uh, throw away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because everything has an energy, as you know. Um, and as you have the energy of it, I believe everything in our, in our universe has an intelligence. Mm -hmm. Everything, like from the chair that you're sitting on to the desk that you work at, to the computers, to the fan, to whatever. So when you're releasing somebody something out of your space, you're actually releasing it to someone else that can use it. Because I believe everything Mm -hmm. was born and built and created for a purpose. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like our genes, right? Like we have these beautiful genes sometimes that we don't fit in and they're just sitting in their closet not being used. Well, somebody in the universe created them. Mm-hmm. And they do have a purpose, but they're not fulfilling their measure of their creation. So release. For us to get skinny. <laughs> yes, right. Well, I, I did that once and I, I released I 75% too. of my clothes. And then a few months later, I actually could fit in them. I'm like, ah. Now you get to but, go shopping. <laughs> I know. It works that way. So step three is that you go and sort. And step four is you put things back. So you're going to put mm-hmm. them in a in a in every single thing in your space needs to have a purpose. It needs to have a home. So as we think about it, kind of as, as we go on vacation, right? We always, always love to come home from our vacation. Well, it's Mm -hmm. the same thing with our things. Like your keys need to have a place. Mm -hmm. Your books need to have a place. 
You know, if you take something out of place, then put it back where its home is. Decide where those homes are. And that's what you're doing is when you're placing things back into that space, you're placing them back into their home, so to speak. If you need to move the home, that's fine. Right. But have a system to it. So, and that's the same thing digitally as well. Digitally. Yeah, I've been sitting here. My wheels are turning. I, I'm, I'm in process of transitioning a bunch of training materials into mm -hmm. a course space just for my team so mm -hmm. that they can easily find things when they're brand new. They can just see the index and just go and learn and remember and find. And it's just so much easier than what we have right now. And I'm going, OK, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. I'm like, I have this nice, clean, new home for things. I'm going and I'm looking through the clutter. I'm putting it in. I'm making sure it's how I want it. I love that. It well, and, and see and touch Marketing. and really like tune into how you feel when those things are organized. Mm -hmm. Like when, when I always say when things are clean, they sing, mm -hmm. you know, they sing mm -hmm. and you want things to sing. You want to have that vibration of harmony in your space and in your brain and in your computer. It is so easy, especially me being a graphic designer and having so many projects and being an entrepreneur. It's really difficult. It, it is a big challenge to be able to keep all of that uh, a digital detox, right? So that's something else I teach is how to do a digital detox, how to go through oh your gosh. emails, how to, how to do your <laughs> filing system so that You're it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey girlfriend, we're entrepreneurs. Uh, I'm on I'm I'm on video chats, I'm on the phone, like this is the constant and all of these things kind of take a back seat. So I'm like, oh yeah. man, I don't have to take a week and off you know, and do. Something else that I that I think is really important to keep in mind. I mean, I when I was losing my weight and now even I'm taking it to a new level. I'm actually uh uh, I'm preparing for a bodybuilding competition next year. So Ooh, I'm, I'm back to really, really um, being very diligent. But one thing that has been a huge thing for me in my life is weighing and measuring my life. Mm -hmm. That's weighing and measuring my food, my activity, my thoughts, mm -hmm. um, my time. Because entrepreneurs, it's easy to wake up in the morning and the next thing you know, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. You're like, what in the world did I do all day today? Yeah. And, and then you, then you go, okay, I'm going to do it tomorrow. It's just like a diet, right? I'm going to get on it tomorrow. And then you get tomorrow and you, you find yourself in that same trap and then you go oh, next week, I'll get it. So it's, it's taking it one day at a time, just like my weight loss, right? One day at a time being patient and integrating things that I know I can maintain so that it's not some extreme. You're not going from one side to, to the other. You're, you're creating systems that work for you because my, my, my system may not work for you or you can take parts of that and work. But I do really emphasize in helping people find something that works for them and that can work long term. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like diet. I, I always go back to the analogy of weight loss, right? Because there's so many diets and programs out there, but how many of them can you only sustain for 90 days? Like you want something that's going to last for years. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's really, yeah. I mean, obviously on the blitz, we don't go over that, but I do have another program that I'm developing right now. That's going to go over all of these um, mm -hmm. addressing all of these things in their business, just because if you don't have the strong foundation, Right. It literally, you're, you're going to have a hard time getting off the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, so, what's hard for me is okay. to watch all these entrepreneurs and coaches. I mean, very dear friends of mine, like mm -hmm. I have hundreds of coaches in my network and I just, I know how powerful they are and I know that their message is right. It's just like, I, you just need a swift kick in the rear end. Yeah, it's, you know, what I see the most is this fear that they're not enough. And mm -hmm. that here's another really big fear that I see a lot is what if I'm successful? Mm -hmm. And will How, I be able to handle it? Yes. Will I be able to handle it? So that keeps the sabotage in play, even if they don't even know it at first. It's, it's amazing. Well, I, I also say that God can't drive a parked car, right? And I'm speaking to myself, by the way, I'm no different than anybody else out there. 
-huh. is even my husband. I mean, he is so happy that I'm starting this biz blitz next week because he's like, finally, <laughs> like, doing something. I yeah. know. And he's it's like, like thing. yeah, you just, you just go in a certain direction. God can't drive a parked car. So you have to go in a certain direction and you'll find out really quickly if it's going to work or it's not going to work, or if you need to adjust it. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and it's like, fail faster so you can succeed quicker. And too many people give up before it even gets going. Mm -hmm. You know, they put their feet on the brake in the car and don't trust the process. Mm -hmm. And then, and then they end up beating themselves up. Over the, I mean, I do, I'm going to speak for myself is that I beat up myself. My husband said the other day, he goes, Becky, you're just doubting yourself. Like mm -hmm. you're doing this to yourself. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, well, I just got to get into action so that my confidence goes up and like, you know, I know the value I can bring to people's lives, right? No matter what people have said in my life, and and yeah. we've all had a call. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we I do know have a calling. Yep, I love it. it. And that calling came to each one of us because it is unique to us. Uh -huh. We have because been prepared. Yeah, our perspective. I start, I have a lot of passion for this. I keep interrupting. Yep. See, that's how no go. I am. <laughs> when you feel that thing to bring a message to say, I've been through this. Now I want to help other people come through it. Mm -hmm. That is the time to learn. Number one, you've been through it for yourself. <laughs> learn mm -hmm. how to bring it to somebody else. How to facilitate it. That's what we do over here. And then you you need to believe it that people need to hear it from your perspective. They need to hear that little piece of that story mm -hmm. that is unique to you because that's the thing that's going to click with those thousand or more people that are actually seeking to hear it out of your mouth so they well, can you, receive it. You know, what's so interesting to me is I, I don't know if you know this about me, but I've done over 150 radio shows or TV shows mm -hmm. I mean combined. Cool. And I, I help people tell their stories because, um, but what I learned really early on in this process is that most people uh, don't think that their story is that important. Oh my and, gosh. And I, I've come and I've fallen into that too, because I'm thinking, well, I've lost 130 pounds. Like, who cares? Like, I'm so sick of telling the story, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But to the people who they've never had that, or they haven't heard that story or, they, they need that inspiration to know. Cause I mean, I got started because someone told their story right. and I'm like, I oh. could relate to you. And then all of a sudden I, I go and get help. And now my whole entire life has changed. So how many people are waiting for you to speak out? Mm -hmm. How many of them are waiting for you to start your program and stick to it and have the courage to do it? Mm -hmm. Cause if you don't ever do it, and I've always thought over this, these years, and I, again, I'm not any different than anybody else, right? I have those moments, but I almost can feel the people crying out, going, Becky, come on, get with it. I need your help. Mm -hmm. They're out there in the millions, in the sea of all of these millions of people. Mm -hmm. There are a bunch of them that are mm -hmm. going, nope, not from you. Nope, not from you. Nope, not from you. And then they finally land on you. And they're like, now I can finally hear it. Well, so here's the thing is that there, I always say to people, there's no competition. No, there's not. There's none because there's nobody like you. And I remember one of my coaches um, sent us a, a box, right, of goodies. And she sent a, um, a little ink pad. And so one of our activities was to take our thumbprint and, and put it on a piece of paper. And she says, see, that thumbprint is yours and yours only. Mm -hmm. So what you bring to the table, only you can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, even, even my husband right now, we're putting together a course. Um, he's a master gardener and he never, he doesn't know anything about marketing. He's just a country boy. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. But I said, mm -hmm. there's people out there that want to hear your way of, oh, mar of gardening because yeah. all this years of experience and trial and error and he gets like 33 pound watermelons <laughs> like you're the, you're the melon man <laughs> you know and so but it's kind of been a different thing for him too because he's like well it doesn't matter you know but I'm like but people ask you to teach that 
So there's got to be people out there that, that will value that. So no matter, or even if you've been through a trial and a tribulation, um, what's so interesting to me, and I say this to a lot of my coach friends, is, is that they'll be, why am I going through such a hard time, Becky? And I'm like, you're going through this difficult time because somebody, God's going to bring somebody into your world that's going to, that you're going to be able to help and say, you know what, I get it. And you get it from a personal level. You're not mm -hmm. just doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, I know, I know what it's yeah. like. I met a gal at the gym today that's, um, you know, pretty large gal. And I didn't just like come out and tell them my story. Eventually I did, but um, you know, I was there, I was mm -hmm. there. And now I'm where I'm at. And, and if it can serve and help and support someone, I'm gonna do it all day long because, and I also yeah. learned that not everybody has that passion and that's okay that's okay yeah. but the people that do will seek you out and they will find you but you've mm -hmm. got you've got to have your billboard up right you got to be yes. out there thank you thank you <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> they're not going to come knocking at your door i'm telling you that yes yeah if you're gonna like here's the thing I, I, let's like direct this productivity talk mm -hmm. uh, let's like stick with the marketing i want to give some tips Okay, mm -hmm. like, sure. you can join me in these tips. Join me in the tips. When you have a Facebook profile and that is where you're thinking your traffic is going to come from and you are only posting, you, you have a bio that says what you do and you have a header that says what you do, but your posts are only showing pictures of your family and things that your family is doing with no tie back to what you do, then you're mm -hmm. not marketing Mm -hmm. that it doesn't matter how much engagement you get on those posts. It doesn't do any good for your business. So when you're decluttering, think about decluttering your Facebook, like what you're actually posting and how and at least tie it back. What do you have to say about that? Um, amen. Amen. <laughs> and, and the re <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because, because I've been on so unsure for so many years, I do have a lot of people that follow me on Facebook, but I think sometimes they go, what are you doing? Like, what, <laughs> what Always are you tight. doing? <laughs> yeah. And so, and, and because I'm not sure I don't put it out there, you know, and mm -hmm. it's important. And one time I remember asking my Facebook, I mean, cause I have quite a few people and I'm like, what do you guys think I do? You know, cause I just, I think it's interesting to get the feedback to what mm -hmm. is the perception that I'm putting out there. And, and, um, and it, I've never been able to get people to go to a business one as much, but they love my personal, for some reason they, it's Facebook, it's the entertaining. Awesome. Yeah. It's entertaining. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but yeah, you, you do have to have your billboard and some people, I remember one of my business coaches many years ago said, Becky, cause I was so out there, you know, and sharing all kinds of things. And, and he was very, very private. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, he goes, well, Jesus didn't have a billboard. I'm like, yeah, but he also didn't have Facebook. <laughs> Like, he had a billboard. He, he had a following, and yeah, they were that's all true. going out there. He had a and billboard. Working. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, and it's interesting because then he started sharing his story, and that is when he had more momentum. Because if you never open up the store, you'll never have business. Mm -hmm. So you're right. I mean, even with branding, you need to to have a certain brand, a certain feel, a certain just like you were going to a networking event people's perception of you and sometimes they'll come back to me and like wow your website and i'm like you know it's it's what is the what is the persona that you're putting out there and sharing value i mean i think one of the reasons why my people are so supportive and kind on my facebook is because i share vulnerably mm -hmm. and that i don't look i've been through a lot of stuff that that nobody knows about on facebook Mm. However, it has to be appropriate to the message and the marketing mm. of whatever you do. And, mm. and I know one gal um, that I've been following for years, I, I've never engaged in her work, but I love that she sends these videos of all of her success stories, mm. you know? Mm. And so it's like, okay, so this person has success stories. Mm. So if you throw it in their face, Facebook, it doesn't work that way. And yeah, and I've learned for years. Yeah. Yeah. You, I like to go out and tell stories about 
things that I've learned, analogies mm-hmm. and and tie. You got to tie it back though. Here's here's the thing. I learned this amazing thing from a coach that I recently hired, and she said, Apple, the company Apple, mm-hmm. is is not going to post a picture of their cat and not tie it back to Apple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you want to post a picture of your food or your date night or whatever, tell a story, tie it back. Mm-hmm. Somehow you can do it. I mean, you want to say, how do you do that with your date night? I did it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> you got to take time as an entrepreneur. You've got to take time to, to for the take important care things. of your relationships. Yeah, you can tie it back. Yeah. And I watched, I watched your whole story the other day, like the, and you had such great nuggets in there. I think it was Mm. yesterday. Um, yeah. Nuggets on business and what to do as an entrepreneur. I love it. So when you build value with people, they value you, Mm -hmm. but you got to be able to be willing to give first before you receive. Mm -hmm. That's another huge one. Yeah. Oh, oh man, we could go into this all day. I know. (laughs) No, I really want to, but I'm feeling like I should stop. Okay, well, we have we have juicy goodness from uh, from Becky for you. Like, super, you need to take her up on this. If you miss this, this is free. If you miss yeah. this, it's not going to be free later. <laughs> no, because so. it's uh, I'm developing a whole program around it. But I do want people to experience <clears throat> this, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I really, this biz blitz is something that I, I love what my business partner said yesterday in an email. He's like, this could be the very thing that you've been looking for, for a long time, mm-hmm. because I have people bring the hardest things to the biz blitz. And then I make it so much fun. You have to get it done or you mm-hmm. get to get it done. My dad would always say, I don't have to do anything you get to do the hardest things in your business that are going to propel you forward to have your confidence goes up because confidence is a byproduct of success. Mm -hmm. And if you're not getting success, this is in weight loss. This is in business. This is in everything. If you're not getting success in those things, you're going to stop doing them. Mm -hmm. So my job is to help you get success on a, on a small scale or a big scale. Because I've had people come through the biz blitz, by the way, this one guy, he was, he was an older guy. He does investments and um, he, I said to him, I said, just come, just, he thought it was the dumbest thing, right? And he says, but I have been looking for a very long time, a contract that's a million dollar deal and I can't find it anywhere, but I, I hate paperwork. I said, mm-hmm. awesome, bring me your paperwork, right? Bring that to the biz blitz. Cause I have them go through a process before they get there so that they are very clear about what they're gonna work on. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so he, he brought it there in the first hour. He made his commitment like, OK, I'm going to go through this and didn't find it. Second hour, didn't find it. Third hour, he found the paper, a million dollar contract that he had lost and didn't know where it was. And just because he wasn't willing to go through that paperwork. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just one example of like many. Here's another. I'll give you one other one. There's a gal that came and she was terrified to do video. She knew she needed to do video in her doTERRA um, business and that sort of thing. And I said, well, guess what you're going to do for this year, this hour? I don't care if it's imperfect. I don't care if it's a flop. I don't care what it is. I said, in the next 50 minutes, I want you to do your video. And even if you need to take it multiple times, well, she wrote me a week later and she says, I just want you to know I have needed to do video for many, many years. And I've been doing one once a day, every day since then. So it's like, that's, that's awesome. just all she needed to get herself Good. in and over that hump. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I that's it. That. Yeah. So. Okay. Say, so get things done in the comments. Yes. Then you can go, she'll reach out to you and you can go to a biz blitz just one day. Go yeah, it's one. a three yeah. hour. Yep, it's three a three hour. hour blitz. We've already got a bunch of people scheduled for it next week. It's going to be Wednesday. I'm calling it Hump Day because that's kind of when entrepreneurs go like, yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> so um, I'm calling it Hump Day. It's going to be at 10 to 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and um, and we can send you the website, and then you can go and register, and you just make sure that you put get things done or you heard it from this, so that we can get you that free biz blitz awesome and if that day doesn't work for somebody is there going to be another opportunity for them to sample it for free awesome so don't just because you can't go this wednesday if that's not your it's not you know if you've already got stuff on your calendar like i do and i really want to go then you know 
it's going to work out for you. So yay. absolutely a calendar that they can actually pick which day they want. I just don't have it all set up yet. The automation. <laughs> it'll be there. It'll be there soon. You'll get the, the conversation with, with yeah. Becky and just don't worry. You get to go. Okay. Yay. I have something for you too. You know that oh, I'm a wonderful. collaboration nut. Mm -hmm. I have, and if you haven't received this too, you need to make sure and get this because this is juicy. I am, I have, yes, I have yeah, Right. Have you had this? I, you actually, it came through my so email good. box and I have not got to it, but it was one of the things that I was going to do today is to go and check it out. Cause it's, uh, I saw you talking about it on the, on your story the other day. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I want that. I want that. <laughs> it's so, you know, okay. Here's the deal. Here's the deal though. We cannot do business alone. You can't do life alone. And that's why the collaborations, if look, somebody else has something that you need and you can collaborate back and forth, mm -hmm. that is such a better way of growing your business. Yes. Yes. So. It's like, it's like, it's networking on steroids. It's like the ultimate yes. referral system. Okay. Yep. So when you get collab to cash okay. and I hear people saying my business isn't ready for that, you've got me and Becky yeah. right here. Yes. That, that's what we do to help you get things ready so that you can be ready for this. So yep. stop getting ready to get ready and get ready and do it. <laughs> Start. Like, yes. Let's do stuff. So collab to cash in the comments and my team and I will take care of you to get that to you. And if you have a message, I would like to collaborate with you. So if you know what your message is, you're clear on what it is that you are wanting to say to people out there and you're at the beginning or advanced growing your following, I want to talk to you. So mm. say collab to cash in the comments and we will start that conversation. And thank you so much for being here. Oh, I'm just going to put this. Make sure you say get things done. Get things done because Make that's... Sure you say it. Execution <laughs> should be Execution. the word. Execution. Implementation. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 And make sure you follow yeah. Becky on Facebook. That is her new Facebook name. Remember, you're looking for the one that says Rhymer. Okay. Yes. I interrupt you. Thank you. I'm so oh. excited. And I'm so excited for future collaborations with you. I think this is going to be wonderful. Absolutely. Fun. And I want to just thank you for everything that you're doing because I, it, people in this space need support. And there's in order for us to all lift, we've got to lift together. So yeah. thank you. Thank you for being willing to reach out and mm -hmm. um, ask for help, but then also receive help from other people. So Amen. Yes. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We will see you in the comments and in the next video. We'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Aloha.